Guys, a great, huge honor for me to have today my boss, my friend, Michael Zenga on the channel. Two things I will say. Number one, the whole reason I started posting more frequently on this channel and actually starting to try to grow it is because of Michael. Michael was the one that encouraged me to start posting more content on this regularly. So for those of you that have been enjoying the content, make sure you head over to Michael's page and thank him for that. Number two, Michael, why haven't you fired me yet? Well, there's, there's a lot of reasons to that. Well, the, the big one, though, would be John. Like, if <laughs> uh, the big reason you're here is because uh, John loves you. No, everyone loves Placido here. We, we put up with some of his antics, but overall, the um, the good outweighs any time that he's five minutes late. I will say, if there's one thing I can say is a, test, is a testament of me still being here, it goes to show how patient Michael is. So I promise you we've had our fair share of times where Michael will yell at me, but overall, he's been very patient. Not too many. Recently, Placido said to me, you're never gonna fire me because if you haven't fired me yet with everything that I've done, you're never gonna fire me. That's a fair point. It just We just have to hope that John doesn't say, hey, uh, don't have this guy around. Mm -hmm. I will say this, however, very frequently I will get on my knees and pray to God that Michael doesn't die <laughs> because if Bernardo was the only one left, he would fire me in a second. <laughs> Go over on his page and ask Bernardo and I will get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's get down to the jujitsu. okay. So Michael is, as the company name implies, a true BJJ fanatic. Anytime Michael travels anywhere, he has to find whoever the highest level of jiu-jitsu practitioner is in that area and get a private lesson with them, okay? He just doesn't get tired of learning jiu-jitsu. Recently, Michael had the opportunity to go to England, correct, Michael? Yep. And learn from the great Hodger Gracie. That was unbelievable. He taught me a really cool passing technique slash concept that he learned straight from Hodger. Michael, take it away. Let's, let's go. All right. So... We're gonna go with um, with you. You know what the funny thing is? I noticed though, it's harder to do to you because of something that John showed you. We you use your feet asymmetrically, where you take your one foot. Your feet are never at the same level, yeah. right? So it's a little harder to do it, but it's still doable. Okay. I need to step over one foot. Okay. So once I'm over here and I have this this foot uh, in between my legs, I can start to put more pressure. If your foot is on my is on my hip, I'm going into your leg press, and it's not going to work as well. So I'm gonna step over. And get this way. I'm going to take my right hand. I'm going to run it on the outside of your your shin and calf, and I'm going to grab some fabric up underneath your uh, your left armpit here. Okay. I'm going to take a cup grip on top of your right leg, and I'm going to say I'm going to pressure it in with my hips, and really should be cooking that top leg. Okay. And I'm just going to stay. And my feet are wide. And watch. Go push me away. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. And but the the advantage of having this grip up here is I can start to shuck this top leg to my left. I walk this way, just like that. Now all of a sudden, that's now past your center line, and there's nothing stopping me from calling him into a smash pass, or even a side body lock, and it's gonna be a very, very easy pass once they get to here, okay? But the key is sort of beating that frame. And I'm laying like a blanket, and you're carrying all of my weight yep. that's heavy, yep. right? It's very inefficient. Ends up, the soles of your feet carry weight very, very well. Sure. The shoulders, the chin, they carry weight poorly, yep. right? So again, we just want to try to get to this position. We're up here and we're pressuring them with our hips. And we're just going to stay. And the longer we stay, your energy meter is going And, and all of a sudden, maybe I can swallow that leg just like that. And we're, now we're in a bad chest to chest. You're flat. You don't, you're not going to be able to generate any offense there. So it's really just such an efficient position. And the way I learned about it was uh, Gordon trained with, uh, with Hodger at Roca in in Texas, and Gordon had told me about that position. And I said, wow, I need to go to the source. I was over in England shooting another video. Sure. And I reached out to Hodger, he gave me a lesson, it was just incredible. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I've felt this technique from Gordon himself. And guys, there are some techniques where they call it the invisible jujitsu, where it's hard to really describe what, the, what you're feeling from the technique, unless you're there feeling it yourself. Guys, when Michael is doing this to me, I promise, the amount of pressure I feel from my knee coming into my chest, it's bothering my diaphragm, it's making it hard to breathe. Right, Michael? Yeah. And it, man, it, it's a big pain in the ass. Can you show it one more time? Sure. So again, we're gonna, we're gonna get up over this leg, and get in this way, and the key is to really bring the hips in this way. Right? Guys, look how he's pushing my bottom knee down and apart. Because if you can bring this up overhead and start pushing yeah. off, I'm in trouble, that's what I want to avoid. And it's putting a lot of strain on my groin too. Yeah. Uh, like. I'm a pretty flexible guy, and even for me, it's making it pretty hard. And now your back's flat. Yeah. You can really bench press off, and all of a sudden, I now we're in that 
and we can walk back this way into an into amazing a, into a bad top amazing top half game he did when Hodger did it to me it was it was just awful I'm gonna start working on this more yeah, thanks Mike. for sure so guys Mike has recently started trying to grow his pages as well he's been trying to grow his Instagram are you starting to start growing your YouTube too maybe at some point but not yet okay so he's focusing on his Instagram right now guys let's show him some support Head over to his Instagram. What's your Instagram handle? Michael Zenga. M-I-C-H-A-E-L-Z-E-N-G-A. Yep. And if you can't find him because uh, for whatever reason, the Instagram algorithm is banning him, make sure you go yeah. to the people that I follow. You'll find him there. Mike, thanks so much. Thanks so much, buddy.